Hi everybody, TJ Mack Vintage Cards. Today I'm profiling a 1983 top set, uh, 30 key cards from that year. Part of my ongoing series of baseball, football, and hockey sets that I'm profiling. Um, for baseball, I do the top 30 cards um, from 1956 to 1989. This is my first 80 set that I'm examining. And I'm doing 83, I'm um, calling out here Vintage Card Steve. It's Vintage Card Steve. Um, he puts together some real great videos. I like his um, different cards that he profiles. He does some hockey, um, baseball, um, predominantly, and uh, football, I'm sorry, hockey, baseball, football. I've seen um, mostly baseball and football, though, that I've seen in his videos. And I really like his stuff. He seems like a really nice guy. We've commented on each other's posts on YouTube. And just want to recognize him and appreciate him uh, supporting my videos. And I just want to support him as well. And this is a quick overview of the set. Uh, this is known, of course, for the rookie cards of Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, and Tony Gwynn, all three Hall of Famers, and pretty much um, the, the hottest cards, uh, some of the hottest cards from the 1980s. It's also the last year for Collier Stremsky, uh, Gaylord Player Perry, and um, Johnny Bench for tops, anyway. And it's the last card of Steve Garvey in his Dodgers uniform. Who's uh, on the Padres in the traded set from that year? Well, let's take a closer look at this year, if we shall. This is uh, starting with the Carlton Fisk card and Raleigh Fingers. Um, I read uh, back in the early 70s, he grew this mustache as a bet, um, or I guess it was like a payment from Charlie fin Finley, the owner of the A's. He wanted players to grow mustaches because if you look at the early cards from the 50s and 60s nobody had facial hair and uh, the A's teams were really the first team that brought that into vogue all the guys wearing facial hair he liked himself with the mustache and kept it so if you look at his early cards he didn't have the mustache starting right around um, 72 I want to say or 73 um, he started appearing with the mustache certainly by 73 there's a uh, the great Steve Carlton that's a classic pose of him I'm getting ready to deliver a pitch. It's uh, one, one that I uh, commonly see. And there's uh, Ryan Sandberg. Pete Rose, real low, um, reaching down to hit one and taking off the first base. Here's the rookie, or the uh, MVP, I'm sorry, for the world champion um, Baltimore Orioles from that year. He was the American League MVP. This is Cal Ripken's uh, second tops issue. There's a beautiful orange uh, jersey there. Ricky Henderson. Love this uh, Rod Crew picture in the middle. This is similar to the 63 top set where they did um, a, a larger picture and then they had the small picture encircled. And here you got Rod Crew with his uh, bandana on his head. Really cool card. Here's Dennis Eckersley. Um, it was a pretty good starting pitcher early in his career. And would have had a heck of a lot more saves had he been a closer his whole career, but he didn't become a closer to later in his career. And I'm not positive, I don't have it in front of me how many games he won, but man, he won well over 100 games, I know that, as a, as a starting pitcher before becoming a closer uh, with the Oakland A's and then the Cardinals, I believe, later on. Here's your uh, league leader, uh, National League for home runs that year, Michael Jack Schmidt, 40 home runs. And, uh, you know, likely the greatest third baseman of all time. And Robin Yount, two-time MVP. Here's a nice uh, looking card of the uh, Ryan Express, Nolan Ryan, sporting his Astros uniform. One of my favorite cards of the sets is Gary Carter. Uh, this is just a classic looking catcher's pose here, um, or catcher's action shot, better way of saying it. Um, so just uh, real sharp, like the old Expos uniforms back then as well. Very gray Phil Negro. Next to another very gray Gaylord Perry. He's uh, Negro played for a few more years after this. This is uh, uh, towards the end for Gaylord Perry. Both 300 game winners, Hall of Famers. There's Tony Gwynn. Dale Murphy was the MVP this year. I don't have his card um, in my set. Um, I have some of his cards. Sometimes I profile them in my 30 cards. I just didn't have him in this year. I, I kind of rotated them through. There's Jim Palmer. Uh, second to last year for him. His last card was 84 tops. 
from the great uh, Wade Boggs here, calling out uh, Wade Boggs fan, another YouTuber, uh, great guy, I enjoy his videos as well, Wade Boggs fan, he's a Wade Boggs super collector. There's Reggie, that's another great looking card, finishing his swing. Here's uh, one of the few guys that had 500 home runs and 3,000 hits in his career, Eddie Murray. Wizard of Oz, Ozzie Smith. Last card of Carly Ostromsky there. Looking like he's doing some, uh, hitting some grounders. And, uh, George Brett, likely hitting a home run there. Just a great looking card. Joe Morgan making his rotation through the different teams in the 80s. Uh, he's the guy you put on your team if you want to go and win a division. Here he is with the Giants. He played some with the A's um, in the decade. Uh, Astros as well. So he, he bounced around a little bit towards the end of his career. And there's uh, the great Steve Garvey there. And again, his last Dodgers card was traded to the Padres and helped uh, lead them to the World Series in 1984. Just, uh, a, as I've said in previous videos, a super uh, playoff performer. And in my mind, the Hall of Famer. Some of these other guys getting in, Harold Baines and guys like that. I mean, I, I, you know, whatever. I know there's people that have their opinions. I have my opinion on things, too. Steve Garvey was not the longevity, but he was a better player. So in my mind, he's a Hall of Famer. And there's uh, Paul Molitor. Love those uh, Orioles helmets with the, with the glove and the ball in the center there. And then you got the Hawk, Andre Dawson. And then finishing it up here with Mr. May. That's what George Steinbrenner called him one year. Uh, a knock at him as compared to Mr. October when he wasn't uh, performing well in the playoffs. He called him Mr. May, Dave Winfield. Uh, but he was he was a 3,000 hit guy, uh, nearly 500 home runs. And uh, he was he was a pivotal guy in those, uh, uh, I believe it was the 92 Blue Jays World Series team. Um, had a real nice year with them that year. Um, played for the Angels as well in the Padres. And there he is, Dave Winfield. So this is Profile 1983 Tops. And just want to appreciate everybody for supporting me and watching my videos. Really enjoy putting them together. Um, this, was, uh, this was a good fun set to build. Again, I built a lot of these sets many years ago when it was pretty easy to get these cards at uh, good prices. And I keep mine in grade 8, 9 range. Um, for this for this decade and they're very uh, affordable at that range not sure the prices of them now but uh, back then they were anyway and I again want to thank everybody for watching and I will talk to you again soon